welcome back to the next Corsa video. Now, if you've seen the last video, we managed to get this engine running badly, and I'll show you the reason for that. It's to do with this uh, the manifold. I'll, sh I'll show you on this other manifold, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring the camera down, and I'll show you a bit better. So the reason it's running as badly as it is is because of this. That's the uh, outlet for the servo hose. Now I'll just show you the servo hose. This is a servo. This is where it plugs in, and you need this part that goes in there. That's supposed to snap in, and then your hose just clips in like that. Now on this is the this is off the off the original engine. You can see when we when we took it out, we actually damaged it, and also there's like four tabs they got damaged now when it tabs on this is broke off as well so that's why to buy a third inlet manifold and this part here is about is about tenner from Vauxhall now I tried fitting it in now as you can imagine this is an inlet manifold it's the back of it it's a bit awkward to get to so I think the best thing to do to get this to fit properly is to take the manifold off but before I do that I think if I plug that hole with something you know like a like a microfiber cloth, just just plug it and see if it runs any better. Okay, I didn't catch it, so but it's it's definitely running better and I'll just fire it up and you'll see what I mean. And there you go, definitely an improvement. So what we'll do is we'll get that fitted and we'll, you know, we'll first we need to take the manifold off. So what we need to do is uh, take the full body off, disconnect the wiring from the injectors and disconnect the fuel pipe. Okay so it's time to get this manifold off. I'm going to whisk through all this. Okay, so um, everything is loosened up, so this should just pretty much lift off. Well, close. Yeah, there's some uh, there's a wiring lung that goes beneath the manifold, so I need to uh, liberate that. 
on the ECU. Forgot about the ECU. Okay, we'll try again. Let's see if we can get this out. bit of loom and he's liberating. I've got this right. Just all come on what else is stopping it? No just this Vacuum hose. And that's the manifold out. That should make things a lot easier. So I'll get it over to the bench and I'll try to get this bit fitted. So we need to get this into there. And with the manifold out, it's ten times easier. So let's see if we can uh, gently tap this in. So the rubber mallet, I think the uh, one pam is overkill. It needs to be it needs to be square. It needs to be. Right, there we go, that's in. So that were easy enough. And yep. We're secure, so got to get it all back in now and open up, break this in the process of trying to get it back in because that's a problem we had before when we did the engine change. I, I broke the end off it, I tried epoxying it and all sorts, but it wouldn't work. I don't think it was a reason it wouldn't run. And talking of which, uh, we'll, we'll sort that out a bit later on. Okay, everything's buttoned up, so we'll go for a start. And that is sounding a lot better. Much, much better. So, I think what we should do is uh, maybe let it warm up um, so we can settle down. Oh, um, what's the deal here? Uh, we'll find out way it didn't start. I think what we'll do is um, we'll put that other camshaft sensor back on and we'll see if that's the reason it didn't start. So I'll let this run for a while and I'll come back to you. Okay now I said I'd put the uh, what we think is the faulty camshaft sensor back in it's back in and we'll see if it'll start. go so that was what was stopping the engine from running so we managed to prove that um, got a few other issues uh, the cooling system seems to be a problem there I don't know whether it'll need a flush but I don't know whether the coolant circulating or not but we'll leave that for another time anyway so I'm gonna wrap it up for this particular video we got it we got it running and running a lot better so please remember to like, subscribe and share. If you have any questions and comments you know where to put them. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you.